What's up guys? Welcome back to Tom Cat TV. Today I will be watching Black Adam. I had to look for some reason. I don't know why. Obviously this movie came out this year um, and even though it was very very popular uh, apparently it's uh, gonna be an overall loss uh, especially after the reshoots they had done at least in the theater. So it's it's a little bit of a, a bit of a sad story. It's a little bit sad actually just because I know this was a passion project for a uh, project for the rock for a, a long time and it's it's something to where it's a little disappointing uh, especially whenever you factor in the fact that there's not going to be any more dceu um, obviously I, i'm not super sad about the loss of the dceu um overall especially as it is right now because i do think that they have kind of it just is very disjointed and tonally inconsistent and honestly that bugs me uh i think it was aquaman which was the first one maybe that came out that was kind of tonally inconsistent and then you had shazam and that none of it really just meshed very well with what Zack snyder originally created but also that was the point wwe was trying to make is they were trying to obviously oust uh, Zack Snyder. So it's unfortunate and honestly the fan base is a bit of a problem. I know my main issue is I liked um, the direction that the DCEU was going. There's a few complaints I had but I loved Man of Steel and especially upon rewatching, I Man of Steel is an amazing movie and I, uh, I really really enjoyed Batman v Superman for a lot of reasons. There's a few like a few more complaints about Batman v Superman than I had Man of Steel but there's still a significant enjoyment that uh, I get out of Batman v Superman. My main complaint out of Batman v Superman specifically is Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. I mean, otherwise, the movie doesn't bug me, especially the Ultimate Edition. Theatrical Edition, I can definitely see more complaints with just because it's incredibly confusing because of how com complex the plan is and there's not really any sort of explanation of how, what, you know, A equaling B. It just doesn't make any sense a lot of the time. So that's why the Ultimate Edition is definitely the superior version on that. And it actually makes that movie fantastic as opposed to just, you know, good, right? I just, I want to get across that I love DC. And so I am going to fanboy a little bit over Dr. Fate. I love Hawkman. I love the design that I think the design they're going with on this one, I think that should make for a really cool looking Hawkman. It's just really, really difficult to get Hawkman right in, in, in live action just because it's such a silly suit, right? I mean, it's silly, like they got the head dress on with the, the ears coming out the side. I mean, I'm just looking at the picture here and I'm, one, I'm curious how I'm gonna feel about it getting into the movie. And again, I'm gonna try not to waste too much time talking about it right here, right now. I wanna get into the movie. I just, I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of background on what I'm thinking here. Um, I'm really excited to get into this. I love Dr. Fate, such a cool character. Pierce Brosnan is amazing. Um, like I said, I want to see Hawkman, and I think, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but I've seen him in a few other things. He was in The Invisible Man, plus that uh, one show my mother watches. Can't remember what it is. You guys, Leverage. He was in that show, I believe. And so he's, anything I see him, oh, he was also in Supernatural. I remember he was uh, in like the second season of that, I think. And also, I know there's a spoiler. Anyone who's not seen the movie and doesn't know the spoilers, um, Black Adam, cover your ears. Uh, but I do know, obviously, there's an in credit scene or post credit scene or something like that, or mid or whatever, uh, that does have Henry Cavill, and it's alluding to Henry Cavill coming back as Superman. And that's one of the things I'm really excited about is seeing him as Superman for one last time, because Henry Cavill Superman is it is really good. And I, I was really excited to see, honestly, when this was announced that he was in this and cameoed. Um, that they were going to be doing a Man of Steel 2, I was really, really excited for it because I really wanted to see a, a sort of modern live action, big screen Brainiac. Uh, that's something I've been excited about for a long time. So I'm hoping that's something that we'll get with the, the gun universe or the DCU that they're starting. So we'll see exactly what we get there. I'll talk more about all this stuff and my, my hopes and my my fears and all that stuff maybe in at the end of this video and if you guys want to see a uh, standalone video about all my hopes and fears as far as DC goes then um, then my thoughts as far as whether I think it's a bad thing or a good thing that things are being rebooted then which I'm sure I'll mention a little bit in this video go ahead and let me know down in the comments if you want to see a standalone video on that I very appreciate it let's go ahead and get right into the movie and actually I might mix up some Debbie real quick before I get into it speaking of which oh my gosh I, I'm not even kidding I swear to you, this is possibly, quite possibly, one of the greatest, if not the greatest energy drink I have ever had. 
I'm not even exaggerating and it's not even just about like the fact that I'm trying to, you know, obviously get you guys to get it because they are a sponsor, but it is the fact that it is just absolutely delicious. It's called, so it's W, it's a, you know, jitterless energy drink, zero sugar. It's called Push and Punch and it's got, uh, uh, it's a, supposed to be obviously a fruit punch, but it's with lemon lime and it is absolutely the best energy drink I've ever had. Go ahead and click the link in the description. Use code TOMCAT at checkout for 10% off. It's super sweet and it helps you save money on your you know, energy drink beverages or consumption or whatever. Uh, and seriously, get push and punch, it's really good. So let's go ahead, let's get right into it. I think that we're good to go. Is that the rock? <laughs> Yeah. Dang, going all 300 with it. <laughs> hmm. See, that's the thing about, you know, tyrants is that tyrants don't love their people. If anything, they, they hate their people <laughs> oftentimes. That's why they subjugate them in the first place. And so he ordered that they be snuffed mm -hmm. out. They got a miracle. Whoa. Oh, and this is when did my light just go off. Oh, that's cool. I like seeing all of them. And when the champion arrived at the palace to challenge him, I was thinking that what happened is he got it. He was mistakenly be bestowed that power, or wrongly bestowed that, bestowed that power. The latest in a series of foreign invaders. Intergang. I've heard that name. Intergang. Isn't that Batman thing? Oh, this is Kanda. I thought. Where's Con- I thought that was another planet for some reason. Oof. Boss man, can I go? It's uh, this is really good timing apparently. Tane. Hmm. There she is. <laughs> okay, so they were working in tandem there. This lady, she did a ton of stuff too. So what I like about this so far is I, I, I always worry with these that because there's if always it's felt like so for for a while now they've been trying so hard to do Marvel just to copy it. I mean that's what they were trying to do by bringing in Joss Whedon, which was so annoying. It does not feel like a Marvel movie, so I, I'm really happy about that so far. Source of great power, who gets to keep it? No one. <laughs> Superman gonna take the uh, the power and put it in his fortress. Although he doesn't have a fortress in this. Given the gift of magic, but their hearts were too easily corrupted. Hmm. Yeah. Accurate. What happened to Ishmael? Hmm. Great. Don't worry, I'll find him. Ishmael's a, Ishmael's a bad dude. That's the feeling that I'm getting from this. Dang! Jeez. Is that intergang? So yeah, a traitor in their midst, of course. Hey, hey guys, what's up? Where is Samir? Claustrophobic. Needed some air. Maybe you should like understand his vibe is super sketchy right now. <laughs> I feel like she probably should connect the dots on that. Slave who became champion and defeated the king. The legend was true. Hmm. He was such a hero. Why did they bury him down here? Not buried there, or is he buried? I don't know. Is he buried, or is he just dormant? I don't know. Oh yeah, you know what I remember. This movie is supposed to be brutal, right? So pumped. Oh, cool. Yeah, nice. Put the crown on. Put it on. Oh. Wait, is Ishmael not a bad guy? I guess he wasn't bad bad guy I thought it, maybe he is he just after the shield I thought he was a bad guy yeah I mean it's definitely a bad guy right I'm over here you let him get to one you let him get to one <laughs> six immortal elders by name what? <laughs> she's out ooh cool so just summon him kind of oh weird check him out boss say you go Chief say your turn. <laughs> oh, he had nobody next to him. <laughs> Dang! The depiction of the speed is really cool. Nice. Brutal. Just 
right in. <laughs> yeah, dude, talk about piss your pants scary. My goodness. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. Yeah. I like that it seems they've been consistent with the movement of the really powerful characters, like the way Superman moves and... Ooh. Dope. Dang. Dude, just get out of there. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> Jeez. So much happening. I love it. Okay. So he, he understands. He very much can read victim versus aggressor. Aggressor. He understands that pretty well. He reads that. But it's it, it's definitely not an indiscriminate sort of killing. Samir, what happened? What didn't happen? What didn't happen? Okay, so Ishmael killed him because he wanted it to himself. Oh, that's cool. Too fat he feels that one. Let's see. No, he's not gonna feel it. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, dead. I thought I heard a hint of this for the score coming up here. Such a great song. What are they expecting that's gonna do to him? Oh, oh cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's good. Just rolling up the windows. Yeah, because that's gonna do him quite a bit. Ooh, dang. Okay, that actually is gonna hurt him. Yeah, he didn't like that. Ooh, boots left. I told you to make it look real, not to punch me in the face. Mm, okay, yeah, so he is uh, the bad guy. Dang, oh, sweet. He's been asleep for 5,000 years. He'll be disoriented at first. Who's on the team? Is he leading a suicide squad? The original Adam Smasher, he inherited his uncle's powers. How's my suit? Does it fit? Oh, yeah, nice. Thank you again. Yeah, don't let anything happen to it. It's a vintage. Don't <laughs> let anything happen to you either. Don't do anything crazy. You listen to Carter. It takes magic to fight magic, and the man's got nearly God-level powers. Oh, that's so cool. Dr. Freaking Fate is so cool. That's cool because uh, Carter Hall being the leader of the team does make sense because of his sort of what, thousands of years of experience. Oh, he's seen the fate. Okay, there we go. Also, I love that. I was wondering if Dr. Fate's, you know, the fate helmet was going to be a burden like it is in other mediums. And I kind of like seeing that. They're the Justice Society. Okay, so the, the, they're the Justice Society, so. I like the sets they made. The sets were nice. Oh, I see he's screaming. Oh. Oh, no. Don't worry about that. I can get another one. <laughs> Condog knows your story. I said move. My mom said you took out a bunch of Inza Gang soldiers. In Kid. Mexico. That's really crucial to my plan. And is it really you stopping the bullets or is it the suit? Huh. Oh, I guess a lot does change in 5,000 years. He, that's the first he's hearing of it. This is your home. Then my home is gone. Hmm. That would be... I wonder what happened to him. What happened to the crown? Too much? Bruh. Maybe take a little bit more care with the powerful artifact. <laughs> My point is, Kondok still isn't free. We could mm. use a superhero right about now. Oh. <laughs> like, I don't care about doors or if you're standing in my way. <laughs> is this spoilers for Good, Bad, and the Ugly? Wizards. <laughs> I can fix it, don't worry. Prove your strength. Destroy your enemy and all he cares about. Make him beg for mercy, but deny it until his final breath. Interesting. <laughs> it's like, see, look at this guy, he knows. Who do you want to teach him violence then? Yeah, Ron. Who do you want to teach me violence? Please, help us. <laughs> just, just need doors. You definitely need a catchphrase. Something blackout badass to say right before you absolutely cook some dude. <laughs> I don't waste words on the dead. 
my gosh, dude. He's a bad man, Cam. What else you need to know? Cut it. This is not a very good plan. Is he taking heart medication? How are we supposed to stop him? If we can get him to say the word Shazam. I'm really curious how this is going to end and as far as their relationship to each other, as far as this group, this the, the Justice Society versus Black Adam. It'll be interesting. Give me. Just because he wasn't able to save his family or... Is he going to try to force Black Adam's hand? Is that what he's doing? Oh boy. That's my son. Where's the crown? <clears throat> Ooh, that was a good looking hit. I like that. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I need to watch the good, bad, and the ugly. I haven't. I've actually never seen it. Dang, that's awesome. Ooh. Sick. Tell them the men in black sent you. <laughs> yes, but not to me. Say it to the bad guys. They're dead. Before you zap them. Catchphrase, then kill. Yes. Uh, I like that there was a little bit of a marking on his head. He's here. You sense his presence? He's the only person in conduct that can do that. <laughs> I just dropped the arm. Shit. Oh, F. <laughs> yeah, you got it, like... Okay, so they're going out to try to save them. That's what's interesting about the contrast. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Our mission is to protect global stability. Okay, so they're just saying global. We're here to restore peace to Kandan. Where were you before? He showed up. My question. Earth, Adam. We know who you are and what you are capable of. Oh, that's cool. There's no place for you in the world of man. I kneel before no one. I like the build on this. This is really cool. Oh, that's cool. I'm so excited to see more of Fate's powers. This is really cool already. Oh, whoa. Oh, making it look like it did back in the day. Oh, nice. That was cool. Dang. Does Hawkman have superhuman strength? I'm actually not sure. I guess he does. I, I didn't think he did for some reason. I thought he just had the... Actually, I guess he did have strength. But never mind. I'm talking out my butt. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. The fact of the matter is, is I don't know if they really have any sort of justif justification for being there. If he's there taking down, you know, a, ter a terrorist regime or like, it's kind of, to a point, kind of their business. I mean, I understand like the whole idea of like not killing, obviously. Smasher, now is your time. I don't know. Oh, that's cool. It's actually really kind of cool. Is it, are they just... I don't know what that good that's doing, but... Hey. Ooh, jeez. Oh, that's so cool. You are the crown of Sabak. Ooh. I like seeing him taking off the helmet, too. Dr. Fate's so cool. That makes me so happy to see him on screen. Pierce Brosnan is perfect for it, too. That's so neat. Oh, nice. This is so cool. Oh, this is so awesome. I shouldn't cry, but just... Guess what? Hmm? You're a bitch. Dr. Fate such a cool hero. I've been wanting to see Dr. Fate on screen for so long. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that was neat. I wonder if Carter Hall's gonna die. Hawkman's gonna die in this, honestly, just because I know he reincarnates. Zero again on your <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Wrong way. <laughs> that's funny. Dude, just grow, man. You'll be able to see it. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, what's gonna happen here? Oh, <laughs> oh that's so awesome. This is interesting because, you know, obviously these are heroes and Black Adams is, I mean, he's been a villain in the past as far as comic books. Oh, hey, oh, 
Nice. That was so cool. You just like literally got the... And see, this is the point. Look, the people at this point, they want him as their hero. So I don't, I don't know. I feel like since he's the hero of this other country, I feel like where's their... Do they have a place to even interfere? I, I wouldn't say they would. I mean, politically, legally, no. Stay out of it. But like, as far as on a moral level, I don't know if you'd have a place to. We've been living under military occupation for 27 years. And this is the first that they've come there. See, this is where I, I'm confused. I'll show you that might oh. oh, dude. I am so sorry. Was that expensive? <laughs> Brother. Me and you, when we get back to the ship? Yes, sir. Me and you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Can we please just see the crime? <laughs> they say that his rage nearly destroyed him. Mm, there's the villainous part of him. We flew all the way over here to stop it from happening. Okay, okay, that's right. That's what they're worried about. They say that you didn't come here to seek justice. Revenge? Oh, it was vengeance. Dang. Oh, because he killed his mom. Right. And in your anger? Oh. Dang. Okay. And that's what happened there. Oh, wow. And this is what made him an adversary of Shazam in the comics, I believe, because... Okay, and then they banged him. They bound him. Ishmael, my mom said you got buried in the tomb. Funny story, he didn't. <laughs> Definitely not here. Okay. Put the bag down. What are you doing? Back away. Dang. So is Ishmael like a, a villain from the comics? King Kandak used to be something much better than free. It used to be great. Mm -hmm. See, that's actually a, a thing with tyranny. I mean, a lot of the time with tyrannical leaders, it actually is. Oh, dang. With tyranny, like it, it tends to be the case. It tends to be. Um, there tends to be order, but like, at what cost, right? The loss of life, the loss of freedom. Yeah, not the time. <laughs> How about I rip your little wings off instead? <laughs> More fighting won't solve this. I disagree. Me too. I'm coming ground. You only in one way. You didn't know me and your first instinct was to mm -hmm. I'm begging you. Please. His instinct was for revenge back in the day, but it wasn't to slaughter everybody. It was to take out all the aggressors and the abusers, all the tyrannical enforcers, not just the, you know, the tyrant himself, you know? Oh, nice kick, kid. I mean, he's probably not gonna kick a grown man like that in reality, but that's fine. There are flying men in this, we're way past reality. Release the child. Nice. Jeez, Ishmael, you're such a, mm. Oh, that's cool. You should really be more careful with your word choice next time. And tell them that the man of black. <laughs> that's funny. Activate infrared. Oh, nice. That's really cool. Oh. <laughs> you already checked. Nice. Careful, dude. I almost hit you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, they're having words again. I don't really have peripheral vision in the mask. I'll get it tailored. <laughs> Me and you. Brought you there. Me and you. That's funny. Oh, that's so cool. Jeez. <laughs> that's awesome. And he picks it up really quick as far as the stuff goes. Don't worry, I can see the future. This isn't how you're going to die. Just stay away from electricity. Wait, man. I'm electricity. <laughs> That's good. Is the kid in there still? Did he get him out? Oh, he's protecting it. I see. Still all that bouncing around. That's going to do something. Is he okay? Oh, no. <laughs> Please don't. Get Bring me the prisoner. I'll break his mind. Uh... <laughs> you killed him, didn't you? <laughs> Are you still falling? Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Oh. <laughs> he didn't make it. 
Jeez, dude. <laughs> Suppose they didn't have doors in your day. Well, of course we did. That's how we entered rooms. <laughs> what I did there is called sarcasm. What is that? <laughs> did you go with my son? <clears throat> we shouldn't hurt our prisoners. We should treat them with dignity, respect. Can either of you fly? <laughs> <laughs> he is at our mine in the desert. I can show him. You said you wouldn't hurt the prisoners. That was sarcasm. That was sarcasm. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I do. <laughs> I swear that was uh, Christian Bale's Dark Knight. Oh, dang, this is so cool. Ooh. Whoa. must have had a really strong neck. No, it snapped when I killed him. <laughs> Life is the only path to death. What if it means like, um, life is short. You gotta hold on to what you love. <laughs> Dude, stop, yeah. Deep. Deep. <laughs> Somebody's gonna die. When it's time for you and I to say goodbye, you all know. Hmm. It's, All I can tell you is. it's fate. What's cool about Hawkman is uh, even if he dies and you don't see him again in the series or whatever, uh, it's something to where you know that it's not the end for him. You know what I mean? Your mind is Intergang's most valued asset. No, Intergang was a Superman thing. That was the animated series, wasn't that Intergang? <laughs> um. You heard him, I will kill all of you. Nobody has to die, we just want the crown. I'm not letting them take my son, too. Hmm. Is he gonna shoot her, isn't he? Or shoot them both? I thank you. And I thank your friends for returning the crown to its rightful owner. What? I'm the last living descendant of King Achton the Great. And you have just given me everything huh. I need to become the next king of Kandag. Wow. <laughs> they say Brother. when Huru died, you wept like a baby. Huh. Whoa. What's happening? He clicked the button because he wanted him to get up close. Is he gonna try to is it, is it because he's gonna try to kill him? Oh it's an internium bullet, isn't it? Oh jeez. Dang, that is so cool. That is so stinking cool. It's an accident. I mean, he just can't control his own anger. And honestly, that, that is kind of part of the issue with using children, I feel like, as far as the wizards go. Kids, kids' emotions are so unstable, it's ridiculous. We both know no one can stop me. Hmm. You're right. Only you can. Hmm. Root was a true champion of Kondok. He was also my son. Uh, oh, the rock not ripped is freaky. The wizards decided that he would be <gasps> their champion. Oh, that's cool. It's like the classic Black Adam look. Oh. Okay. Oh. Jeez. So he wasn't chosen. Interesting. And I will give up my power. <laughs> Shazam. Cool. It's kind of cool. Task Force has, uh, X Black Site. Secret location. Okay, so they're taking him to a prison. But they're going to need him. I'm really enjoying this. This is really good. Oh, I cannot wait for this. I'm hoping we'll see a little bit of other villains. Oh, dang. The stuff they were just putting in his mouth is kind of crazy. I'll never say another word again. Wow. Oh, wow. There's some really big ones in there. Like my daughter right now. Oh, my my, uh, my grandma. So her great grandma uh, gave her a cape for Christmas as a Superman cape. And she loves Superman. So she's been running around saying fly. Screaming it, actually, over and over again. Hmm.
We can stop it, but you die. Oh, wow. The world needs you. But you can't choose who lives and dies. It's fate, right? Hmm. Hmm. Lived longer than I could have ever hoped for. And I don't want my friend to die. Hmm. <laughs> Death is the only path to life. So play dead. Oh, does he have to die in order to pass into, like, to communicate with the demons? Death is the only path to life. The wizards have their champion. Now we have ours. We have our name. Sabak. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. So he's Sabak. Oh, cool. I have to look up pictures of him after this. Hundred miles out, give me twenty seconds. That's so cool. Yeah, you need Black Adam. Oh, so cool. Oh, fate. Yeah, good luck with your wind. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. That's really cool. Don't kill. <laughs> Fate's gonna die. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna keep them from going in? No, 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 no. What are you doing? Giving us a third option. Carter, for the first time in 100 years, when I look ahead, I see nothing. Okay. Oh. This is why Fate's so cool. And Sabak is actually Sabak is really a cool villain, honestly. It's super, you know, obviously demonic, but that's the whole point. But even my powers cannot defeat you. I love the duplication sort of thing that Dr. Fate does. It's so so dope. Seth Adam, now you are the only one who can defeat the demon champion. This is so cool. You have the power to be the destroyer of this world, but you can also be its savior. <laughs> awesome. Fate nice. Does not make mistakes. Neither did your son. Dang, this is such a cool sequence. Oh, jeez, there it is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dang. Crazy Doctor Fate's so cool. That's the helmet of Anubis, right? Is that is that what it is? I think. Dang. Oh, we can't have a DC movie without a sky beam. Dang. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Uncle Cream, right? <laughs> that would be kind of freeing, wouldn't it? What are we waiting for? Is that the guy from the Flash? Like the 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 chief or uh, captain? And oftentimes, that's kind of what you need as far as uh, under a tyrannical regime is you have to have a people who are willing to do it. Shazam! So cool. You can catch it. Awesome. Awesome. And you get some of the brighter colors added to the black. He's got it. Go get it. Nice. I like that. He's like, they're attached, they're attached. You know what I have to do. Beat his A. <laughs> That's good. Oh wow. That don't feel good. Oof. Have the people rise up and take back their country. Awesome. <gasps> Is he dying too? Oh. <gasps> oh, that's. Oh, 
Oh, the eyes! That's so cool. You can, oh, so that rage or whatever the he, he's having, he needs to direct it as opposed to it just exploding indirectly. Oh, that's really cool. Tell him the man in black sent you. <laughs> oh, dang! That is epic. I'm only here because of him. Hmm. That makes two of them. Hmm. That was an awesome finale. It was really good. Oh, wow. Well. And it's going to go find somebody else that it wants to wear it. Kind of justice you dish out and darken your soul. Darkness that lets him be what heroes like you cannot. Hmm. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Mm hmm. Still has a problem with what he does, even if it is something where he did save the day. There's, a, there's an element of respect, obviously. You could lead them. Mm hmm. That's awesome. That was like all the promos, the artwork or whatever for it. How does it feel? Wrong. <laughs> that was cool. Thank you, Ted Adam. Perhaps that name is a little old fashioned. So what should we call you? This is just gonna cut. Nobody actually gonna say Black Adam. The man in black. Black Adam. Ba -ba -boom. Sweet. Freaking sweet. That was really cool. I actually really liked that. I really liked it. Now, it's it's definitely a bummer going through the whole thing, knowing that it's not going to go anywhere, obviously. <sighs> Again, I, I have uh, mixed feelings on a lot of that, but... <sighs> man, their sort of version of Dr. Fate in this, though, was epic. It was so good. And performed by uh, Pierce Brosnan to freaking perfection. And directed and, like, sort of written to perfection as well. Honestly, I don't know if there could have been a better version of Dr. Fate, to be honest. It was so good. Um, and Hawkman was great. I freaking loved his character. Very consistent with what I know of him. Um, and you know what's so cool about seeing some of these characters, like, for example, Hawkman and stuff like that, is it just makes me think of some of the comic books. I have the Blackest Night comic book. Um, I don't remember very well. I, I, I kind of, part of what I love about comics is just mostly the artwork a lot of it i don't always read through them super like detailed but blackest night I, I is so stinking crazy and i'd very much love to see in this new sort of uh, dcu something leading up to that for green lanterns maybe have like a trilogy of green lantern movies and then maybe a justice league movie that is justice league blackest night type of thing that'd be really cool Aldous Hodge, that's his name. Aldous Hodge. But this movie was really cool. I love the freaking um the direction was really kind of neat. I like how the fire the fight scenes were just really epic. And um and everybody really just contributed contributed so heavily in it. It was just perfect. Everybody had a time to shine. I heard them I heard people say before this that this story is not something super special, which I mean I guess so. I mean it's not like so the most original thing in the world. Uh, but it didn't matter to me. It wasn't distracting. It was just a lot of fun. Really intense fight sequences. Um, great, great uh, moments with Dr. Fate. Honestly, the Dr. Fate moments were like a highlight for me. And seeing him sort of doing the, the multiple bodies, grabbing and holding down Black Adam was just really, really kind of cool. I liked that a lot. Now I'm ready to see Superman. Please, please let me see Superman. Okay, Ugh. Black. Amanda Waller and everything. I just hate her so much. She's awful. She plays her perfect too. Conduct is your prison now. Tell him he's only allowed to be there. Step one foot outside of it, you will not live to regret it. There's no one on this planet that can stop me. <laughs> he has no idea about Superman. It's been a while since anyone's made the world this nervous. <laughs> oh, that looks really cool. Oh, and he's got the S. The black hat. Superman curl. Black Adam. We should talk. We should talk. That was cool. That was cool. I like that. That was really cool. I like that cameo. So depressing though. So depressing. I, and honestly, as far as this, I feel like as far as the DCU goes, I think the fans are going to win as far as fans of DC Comics. I think that, that we're all going to benefit from that. 
but I do sincerely feel so sorry for Henry Cavill. I know he has such a passion, probably more of a passion than we've ever had from any actor that's played Superman. He's had such a passion for Superman and for the source material. And it is really, really sad that we're just not going to ever get any more of him. It really does. I, I feel I feel bad for him. He's not going to be able to play the character anymore. I mean, they can always do some sort of like, you know, flashpoint thing, you know, I, and I guess that the, switches things around or some sort of crisis on Infinite Earths where we get to see multiple different Supermen. Obviously, we could even see Tom Welling even or the one from Lois and Clark, like the CW, right? Um, it'd be interesting to see if that's where he's trying to go with it. And uh, it sounds like to me that what's positive about this and where I think we are gonna win as fans is that James Gunn has basically said, yeah, uh, studio's gonna stay out of it. Um, they've, but it sounds like almost contractual. Uh, hopefully it's a contractual thing because the problem is the studio is just so trash. WB has just honestly betrayed like the fans of DC way, way too much, honestly so bad but i'm really excited to see what goes here theme from superman when was that played was it in the, the credits maybe i don't know um fourth world created by jack kirby i don't know i i, I am it is really it, it was really kind of sad um that we're not going to get any more of this sort of universe uh, i mean we're obviously we're going to get flashpoints we're gonna get I, I do believe they finished like the blue beetle movie or at least they're finishing up on it so i guess we'll probably get blue beetle uh i think there was one more we were gonna get i cannot remember what it was oh yeah aquaman we're gonna get aquaman i can't think if there's any other dc movies that we're gonna be getting here before we get dcu um and i know obviously they're planning on doing more um let's see if there's i don't think there's anything after this i think that's it That's it. Yep, that's it. Okay. But yeah, I'm I am excited to see where things are going. Like I said, I it is something that is sad. I, I'm I'm gonna miss Henry Cavill Superman. I'm honestly gonna miss at the, especially at this point, I'm gonna miss uh the rock uh, the rock as Black Adam because I don't know of anyone else who could play Black Adam, to be honest. Um it, to, especially to I guess the perfection that the rock is the rock just he looks like him. It's crazy. Um this version of Dr. Fate looked amazing, looked great. I don't think they'll ever be able to top that. And see, here's where my frustration is, is like, okay, I, I don't want to make too much of this video about the, the state of DC right now. You know, I want to make sure that it's, we're also getting kind of a, I want to talk about this movie. Okay, let me, let me go talk about this movie. So I think that um, I enjoyed pretty much every aspect of this movie. Some of the CGI in some spots looked a little spotty, but overall it was not distracting for me personally. Um, everything seemed very consistent with what I really want from a DC movie, to be honest. Um, this, this is the kind of style that um, I kind of like. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have a lot of the depth that I would normally like from DC like I was talking. And it's something that I thought that Zack Snyder actually did pretty well. Um, in the sense of like the kind of sort of philosophical leanings or uh, meanings behind a lot of DC comics and Superman and Batman and that whole fighting. Um, but I do really, really like the speech that Dr. Fate gave there towards the end, whenever he is talking and he said for the first time in years, I can't see what's in front of me. I can't see fate or the, what's hap going to happen. Um, and it's beautiful. I think that that was actually a really beautiful speech, really. And then him sort of getting, waking up Black Adam and having him come, I thought that was great too. I mean, obviously Fate in any situation is probably gonna be the MVP, but I'm really excited to see as far as the DCU, what they do with that. But I mean, I, they're obviously not gonna continue off this any, unfortunately. Um, I don't know, it's, it's just so hard. I really did like this movie a lot. I thought the action sequences were great. It's just, it, it is something to where it is, it, 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 if you're not careful, obviously you could slightly taint it in your mind when thinking of it just because of what they're doing right now and the fact that this isn't gonna go anywhere. So that that is disappointing, but it is something to where I think on its own, I think it's a good movie. I think it's enjoyable. Um, I think The Rock was very justified in being very proud of this. 
Um, and I do feel also for him as well. I mean, he was being a little arrogant. He was being a little too braggy to, to me, in my opinion, for the stuff that he was able to accomplish on this, as far as he could tell. Um, but I definitely think that this was definitely a good DC movie. I, I think, honestly, in his head, he was probably thinking, he's like, this is it. I'm gonna bring back the DCEU. This is gonna be popular again. Everything's gonna be great. And I, from what I understand, I think, I can't remember if I mentioned this at the beginning or not, but this movie, I guess, is as far as its theatrical release, has had a loss, especially after you factor in the reshoots. So they, they didn't even make really any money from this. In fact, they lost money overall so far. Um, so that's something, as far as studio-wise, they probably wouldn't have wanted to continue this anyways. So this right here, because of this sort of disappointment and stuff, there's a reason why they're not wanting to continue it. And I do think maybe, honestly, just to start over, start at the beginning, try to put out some stuff that's going to get people excited, people going to the theaters, um, I think that will help. And I do think long-term, I think it's probably a better decision. I just, I, I am really sad that we're not going to see more of this, because I really did enjoy it. I enjoyed like I said, The Rock as Black Adam, I thought he was great. Pierce Brosnan as Dr. Fate, obviously we're not seeing more of him, but Dr. Fate in general is just such a cool character and I really want to see more of him. And the problem is, is now with any sort of like new movie, as far as Dr. Fate goes, like it, they can't have him in there because it's just gonna remind people of this and they're gonna be constantly comparing to this Dr. Fate. Uh, same thing with Hawkman. Um, which Hawk, Hawkman was really great as far as the character goes. I still think that they need to try to do something different with the helmet. I think this is just a little bit much. I think it works in the comic books, but it's really hard to get it to work in the movies or in shows. Like, I mean, this is significantly better than Smallville as far as Hawkman goes. Also better in this than Fate is in Smallville, but Fate was still really cool in Smallville. I don't know if any of you guys remember that, but he was, he was still really cool. But let me play Dr. Fate. That'd be dope. Anyways, <laughs> but I am really excited. Uh, I'm excited to see what we get next from DC, honestly. I, I don't know. I know a lot of people are mad and I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me uh, as far as this goes. But honestly, I, I haven't really been like super like ecstatic about a DC movie since um, I will we'll say Zack Snyder Justice League. Um, and, you know, before that, Batman v Superman. But after that, the I mean, Wonder Woman, everybody talked about how great it was, but I, I always felt like Wonder Woman was really overrated. Uh, I thought that the movie was decent. There's just a few problems. I thought there was some tonal inconsistencies as far as the villains go. I thought they were a little silly and cartoony, you know, at, at times. Uh, and then the way Ares was brought in, I thought was kind of a little, I think it was cool in the sense of like, timing and stuff and him hiding in plain sight you know blah -dee 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 -dee. but uh, i did not like I thought the cgi effects were really bad at the end i know that's a consensus that everybody else has but i have a problem just i, I think the movie wasn't nearly as good as people try to say it was i think people try to say that just because they want it to be they want it to be good you know honestly that was me when i first saw the justice league um uh, the theatrical cut uh, I really wanted to like it. I really wanted to like it so much to a point where I, I thought I did like it. And then I, I bought it and watched it at home and I was like, this is a bad movie. <laughs> and then I went ahead and uh, watched obviously the Snyder Cut and albeit too long and I didn't really need this sort of uh, dark timeline or whatever on the other side uh, at the end. But it, it was still significantly better and actually a really good movie with great, uh, better special effects, to be honest, and better character development. It's just, honestly, Warner Brothers meddling has completely destroyed the DC Cinematic Universe as far as, or, or DCEU, Extended Universe, I guess, as we know it. They, their meddling completely destroyed it, and so starting over is the best way to give the best service to fans. That is my opinion. Take it for what you will. That being said, um, let me know if you think, uh, if you want to hear any of my other opinions, where I think they should go with the DCU um, as it moves forward. I'm going to go ahead and finish up here with this. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment down below. Anything you can do will help. If you want to check out my Patreon and pick specific movies for me to watch or just generally support me, I very much appreciate that. Uh, thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.